We are in Oxford, Mississippi for some early afternoon football as the Ole Miss Rebels play host to the Liberty Flames. And we just saw Casey Kelly getting healthier and healthier every day at tight end. Big hole off the left side. There goes Jerry Ely. The speedster will take it on the second play of the game to the end zone. 70 yards. Good morning. So the Flames will start from the 25. Here's Willis. And he is sacked. And that has been an issue for the Flames all year. They have not been able to protect Malik Willis. Second down and seven. Ole Miss bringing a couple of extra pass rushers. Willis gets out of that trouble. And Malik nowhere to run. He's going to be hit and drop back at the 37-yard line. Otis Reese will get credit for the tackle. That'll be a loss of seven. Willis slips and falls. So fourth down as he loses a yard on the play. Shedro Lewis in the backfield. Willis looking to throw, has some time, and now the pocket collapses. Nobody was open, and he has dropped again. Chance Campbell got there first. That's a loss of eight. So a 43-yard field goal attempt on the way from Caden Costa, who has been really good. Nine of 11, a long of 50 against Arkansas. Had a 49-yarder last week against Auburn. And he'll send that one through the uprights for 43. So three more on the board for the Rebels. And they now lead it 10 to nothing. Willis hit and dropped again. Catch that one cleanly. Ely trying to get the corner. Dives for the pile on. He's in there. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Looking for their first conversion. Pressure comes. Willis hit as he throws. And that one is, they're going to say, caught around midfield across the midfield stripe at the 49 yard line. That may be an interception. Well, they're talking about it. Jalen Jones was over there battling for the football. As the replay will overturn what they initially thought was a catch by Liberty, but instead an interception by Jalen Jones will give the Rebels possession at midfield. Yeah, when you go back and look at this, Noah Frith, he never really controlled it. You know, from the original, the first look, it looked like he had it. But as they sp spun over, the ball was down by his knee area. And Jalen Jones kind of ends up with it in his hands. And A couple of tight ends on this look. Willis, shoulder fake. Going to the wide side. That is picked off on the back end by Finley. He'll have it out to the 30-yard line. And that will snuff out a Liberty drive with 2.55 on the clock before halftime. Ole Miss went to running the football inside. Bumley goes in motion. Corral throws near side. Wide open, Dennis Jackson. Cuts it back to the five. Touchdown. 40 yards. See if Malik Willis can get anything going. Again, Malik Willis dropped another sack. That is six in the first half, and that is a season high for the Rebels. Neely with two touchdowns on the ground. Three-man rush. And that'll be enough to get to Willis. They finally put him on the turf. Robinson, the first one there. Here's a 38-yard field goal attempt from Caden Costa. The snap is good. The kick is on the way, and he just blisters that one for the uprights. The youngster having a heck of an opening season for the Ole Miss Rebels. Willis flushed out of the pocket, looking to throw. Sidearm is incomplete. And the Rebels get the stop. Johnson came in untouched. Third down and forever. Willis. Pocket collapses. He loses the football. 
Liberty recovered it and had an offensive lineman that picked it up late. Uh, but Sam Williams was the guy that forced it or popped that ball out. But I'm not sure who has it. Regardless of the outcome today, this has been some kind of effort by Liberty. Sam Williams back in the game as this one's lofted into the end zone and picked off. A.J. Finley, his second interception, will end this game.